top to bottom. The second alcove, where the figure of a channel can be seen, is known as the Four Ages of Life. Every quarter of an hour, another figure representing man and the passage of time appears. Below this is a half-circle opening, which shows the phases of the moon and the daily tides in Sydney Harbour. The sphere represents the moon, which rotates every 29 and a half days and indicates the four phases of the moon. Below this strip is a large model of the sun and the planets, known as an orrery. The orrery shows the movements of the planets around the sun. Unlike other orreries, this one shows the movements at the same rate as they actually occur. The small clock below shows Eastern Standard Time. The clock is not changed for daylight saving. The two cherubs on either side of the clock show the old-fashioned way of telling the time by striking a bell and turning an hourglass on the quarter hour. Immediately below the small clock is an alcove containing chants. These seven heathen deities represent the days of the week. The next dial is the grand astronomical dial, a 24-hour clock showing the time of day, the date, and the month of the year. The central half globe is Earth. The dial shows the position in the sky of the sun and the moon. In the window, we see the stars that are above Sydney at the present moment. The six dials on the left show pre-zonal time in six world cities. London, Edinburgh, Dublin, St. Petersburg, Berlin and New York. Finally, the clock is also decorated with many allegorical figures and portraits, including Uranus, the muse of astronomy, the Polish astronomer Nicholas Copernicus, Jean-Baptiste Schrilge, the French engineer who supervised the restoration of the original clock, and two lions representing the coat of arms of the city of Strasbourg. 